today we are going to be taking a look on War and Pieces at a very, very cool and unique game. It's Atlantic Storm. It's actually a card game from our good friends at Lock and Load Publishing. Uh, this is the Admiral Edition, which has everything in it. Um, you can find this at their website, L L. It's www.lnlpublishing.com. Okay, but, or you can type in lock and load and I'm sure it'll point you right to the direction. But the most important thing is, is this game any good? Well, let's go down to the table and So I'm just going to kind of show you the, the solo game real quick. I'm not going to go through everything here. Uh, in a four-player game, you're going to be on all different sides of each other, and you're going to have a hand of cards that you're going to keep from each other. In the, the uh, uh, solo game, which is just really, really fantastic, you're going to have your convoy cards. You're only going to have 17 of these, and you're going to pop them over, and you're going to see there's a... Um, year 1942 for here so it's also going to tell you and show you exactly um, where these cards can be uh, found uh, from uh, like for for instance here this is the Arctic okay which it, 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 they have these cards that spell everything out so this is Arctic so that's going to help you and you're going to want to play Arctic cards now the way this works is that the enemy gets three cards and you get two cards. So how do you determine which um, what happens? Well, you're going to turn over a first card, and you're going to see if that fits into the year, okay, and matches up. It does. It's 1942, okay, and you're going to take your highest number, okay. So this is set in the air. So as you can see, air combat, surface combat, and sub combat. So right here, they have three points. You are going to play cards from your hand, so it's going to go A, B, C, D, and then E, and that's that's the end. And whoever has the highest number is going to be able to claim this card. So you, let's just turn this over. We can see this is 42. It's an event. Well, that's not going to help us any. Um, let me just grab something here. Okay, 42. And all right, great. So now we have two versus two points versus three points. Now you, you, you're going to turn over their card. Now this one here, if it didn't match up, you were able to pull nine cards. Okay. After that, this card would all those cards would just get discarded, and they would not play a card. If they pull their next card and it does not match up, well, then they don't have a card for that particular turn. Okay, so then you would get to play a card, which would give you kind of the advantage a bit, hopefully. But here, of course, I turned over the card, and guess what? It's three points, air, and 1942, which fits exactly what they need. So now you would have to try to play a 42 card. Well, here's the thing. if The only 42 card may be in my hand because you're only allowed to have uh, um, six cards in your hand maybe you see this you don't want to give him any victory points so you may decide not to play a card at all like right here those two would be three and you would just say okay no matter what i am going to sacrifice this particular um this particular go around because there's just no way i can win so you would probably just say i'm going to skip a turn and they would turn over a card, which wouldn't matter at that point, and it's 42, of course, because this is the way it goes, and they would win. They would claim this and this as the victory of their spoils, and these are their victory points, of course, that you're going to count up at the end of the game, and whoever has the most, guess what, wins after 17 turns. A really interesting game, and you can see how this, this pans out, where... you. You don't know what you're playing three cards against your two. You know what's going on. Now, the interesting thing is that when you're playing a two to four player, that there are special abilities on here or events that are going to do different things and cause different things to happen and stuff like that. There's also special cards that are going to be in here that play into it. There's also in here, there's a card that you may run into the storm event and that will cause you thing. You do not play with this in the solo game and you do not play with any special event cards in the uh, solo game. But an interesting game that goes back and forth and really stands out. 
let's go up top and get my final thoughts you know, on Atlantic Storm. I really, Storm. really like this, and I love the solo component of it. I love how you can actually make it harder. You know, they get three cards, you're going to get two cards, and, and you're going to try to figure it out. And more than likely, everything's going to go wrong for you. A matter of fact, I want you to check out um, a, a video I saw from uh, Counter -Product Productive Games. This guy is one of the best war gaming guys out there today because he's not pompous at full air. He, he's just one of those guys that loves to share games to you with you and he's just doing some fantastic videos see his playthrough of this okay he doesn't explain the rules that much but i'm telling you right now you will not be disappointed uh it's just a fantastic fantastic job that he does and i'm really i really had fun watching it this is a i i really really enjoy this uh, the four player uh, you know the when you're playing two player or four player um I think there, uh, I don't think the game shines as much as it does with the solo variant. Uh, the two-player thing it, it really works well. I, I you know, by, by them calling out, you know, you having the one player call out certain things and the events and stuff like that, which really keeps you on your toes and things like that. I, I just really found I really enjoyed this as a solo experience. Um, but all in all, it is a really good, solid card game, fast, fun, war game that, that is for everybody. And that's the kind of stuff that really is appealing and really great because it helps bring more people into the hobby. When, when you take some of that intimidation away and you make it where anybody can play, I, I just think that's a beautiful thing. So, hey, great job yet yeah, again, uh, Atlantic Storm admiral's edition until next time it's your old pal ralph of war and pieces we'll see you soon